So this is a good advantage of having like a custom made engine. Of course, you can do this in other engines, but it's easier here because I know the entire API. So um, I'm disabling something called back facing back face culling. Uh, I'm actually enabling that in the engine, which defines that for the handling that one part of a face should not be handed. Only the other part, only like the counterclockwise part, I'm not gonna get into details. But basically you can see here that this building does not have a ground, does not have a floor, but they actually have, but it is inverted. So you can see one side of the ground, but not the other. And this is good, like this is exactly what you want when it comes to making a game engine and a game, of course, mainly a game, because it saves a lot of performance when it comes to handling the things, because for example, you don't need to handle the other side of a building, just the outside, not the inner side, but you can see it's all wrong. And to fix this in cave, uh, it's possible, but it's very tedious. I need to select the wrong um, entity and then locate the the following material, like the following the the core according component, and then edit the mesh. And then I need to go to the operations, and then I can flip the indices and also flip the normals. So it takes a lot of time. What I did is I wrote a very simple script here that creates a tool for Cave, using Cave itself, that basically allows me to do all that with a single click. So this script uses Cave API itself to basically iterate over all the meshes of the entity that I have selected. And if it's like the first mesh, it's probably the four. So, and if it's the last mesh, it's probably walls. So then I flip them accordingly. So this will take like a minute per, per every single entity that I have wrong. But with this tool, I can simply pick here if I want to flip the floor and the walls. And for example, this one, everything is wrong, as you can see. But if I click here, you can see that it is now correct. Same here, it is wrong. And if I click here, it is now correct. You know, so this is a good advantage. And by the way, the reason why this is all wrong is because I actually procedurally generated that uh, many months ago. And when I did that, uh, I was not expecting to have like the back face culling turned on. So I did not bother to do it the right way. That's why many buildings here in the game looks wrong. So now I just need to select them and one by one flip the data. Uh, by the way, the reason why I don't botch uh, flip all the, the buildings at all, because like, as you can see, there's hundreds of buildings and there's more in the distance that gets like colored. But the reason why I do not make the script do this for every single building is because it's better to do this by hand and make sure that everything is okay. Because when you do stuff like that, there's a chance that you like, like are breaking something. So it's important to know exactly what are you doing. This is exactly why I'm doing this by hand, one by one. It's a tedious process, it's not very fun to do, but it's necessary and I'm glad I'm doing this right now because the performance will thank me later, you know? So yeah, I'm doing this. Great.